Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Project Zomboid, and um, yeah, so following up at the end of last episode, I did spend a significant amount of time running around the base trying to turn off as many lights as possible. Um, these outdoor lights cannot be turned off, or at least I didn't find a way to, to turn them off, so I am not sure what the, the next step is going to be for us. I got it down to f roughly 40 lights that are still active and that actually significantly reduced the fuel usage. So we might be okay. Might have to refuel a little bit more often than in previous runs, but that's not true. Like, if I have to refuel every four days, it's not the end of the world. Especially with the large gas cans that we have. And with our big fuel truck, shouldn't be a big deal. But it's still kind of annoying. Also, oh my. I'm going to show that later when we're back in base. Um, this house has so many lights. Uh, there's also some outdoor lights that could be turned off, but they are on the upper floor, so uh, outside. So I can't actually reach them, or I could, would have to build a staircase to get to them. It's kind of, kind of ridiculous. Anyway. I think even though it's already again a little bit later in the day, I want to continue where we left off. By the way, talking about fuel, man, this, this car is eating a lot of fuel, that feels. Or my fuel tank is not uh, in the best condition. By the way, did I ever... Yeah, I do have a gas mask. So I was checking out because of all the bodies that are around. Um, I don't want to get corpse sickness. Now I'm not using the mod that there's there's a mod that is working gas mask or something like that, where you just if you have a gas mask, you don't have to worry about the corpse sickness at all anymore. But rather the mod I'm using is called Exqueeze Me. Yeah, because uh, if you get corpse sick, you get queasy. Exque yeah, okay. Um, anyway, that just reduces the speed at which you gain the corpse sickness and increases the speed in which you lose the corpse sickness once you're out of a, a corpse area. So you kind of still need to watch out for the for getting queasy and eventually maybe secure a safe house that is not affected by corpses. So it doesn't just outright remove that aspect from the game, which I really like. Uh, anyway. Back to work on this little area. Because um, since we left for a day, they're kind of filling back in a little bit. It's not as bad. So I think the huge zombie hordes were, uh, when we did our exploration trip here, we were one parking lot further down, if I remember correctly. So well, there's, there's definitely something changed in the, in the recent update of the trades mod that made me way more panicked or panicked for longer or panicked by fewer zombies and I don't understand why because I don't really, like the only panic trade I have is the whole um, panic from darkness thing, and it's it's two in the afternoon. It's certainly not dark. Unless the trade mod update kind of changed the way or reset my, my progress. Oh, oh. 
internally of how long I've been alive, you know. Of course, in the, on the first day, a new character gets panicked by a single zombie. But once you survived for a certain amount of time, that significantly reduced, gets reduced, right? I'm surprised how, how empty this parking lot is. The laundromat here. Well, it's a little bit of um, easy metalworking XP. It's like the, the shitty version of the car we have in our, in our front yard. Not as smooth as I would like it against a runner, but it's it's dead. I'm alive. That's that's what counts. Ah, gas station, yeah. Unfortunately, power is out, so we would need a generator to actually get some gas from this place. That payphone seems oddly placed. Like, oh, let me just squeeze between the wall and the payphone to, to take a call here. Yeah. It's probably uh, shotgun time here. Yeah, let's, let's just bring out the big bun. Big one. Totally for shotgun time, always ruin the blockers. Yeah, a little bit wasteful again with the ammo, but since we found some, not just some, we found 10 boxes, right, the other day, or 12 boxes even, that's 300, 300 ammo. Oh. That's probably this box track here. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Oh, he almost fell again. <laughs> I like how most runners recently always trip the moment they get to me. What's up with this one? No gas. Uh, trunk? Trunk's open. Motion sensor. You can make booby traps of that, but you can't craft a timer, electric wire. Yeah. Unfortunately, motion sensor does not work with the automatic fresh, uh, garage door opener. That's really just a button you have to click or rather press on your keyboard. That would be the next step. And then motion controls.
you not. Well, I'm just kind of kind of make it. Oh, that's that's a big one, a uh, fast one rather. So let's single him out. We meet up here. Right. Oh. Last one coming. So jammed and not fully reloaded. Here. So I'm wondering if we should bring a generator here to have a working gas station at this place. I'm not just wondering, I think that would be actually a good idea. Um, but that means going back to the storage lot, because I don't think we found generators anywhere else. What kind of, kind of place is this anyway? I want to know what kind of shop this one is. Oh, this is a... Boy. say a restaurant, just, you know, taking a wild guess. Yeah, this is, this is the big parking lot, I think, already. Shouldn't take the shots this early. Two more, that's manageable with a little swing. I'm just going to ignore that this road exists on the other side of the road. We're just going to focus on what's down here. Because let's be honest, right? The whole reason I'm doing that, not for first aid XP or, you know, metalworking. I just want to get to this car. I'm not kidding anyone.
Uh, any runners? Doesn't see that. There's one. Should have run, but he was a walker. Okay. What's my shell situation? Down to 97, okay. Plus we have like 10 more boxes on the uh, on the side, right? In the back seat. Off my car, that's still running somewhere on the highway and hopefully it's not attracted a whole bunch of zombies. Getting so close. It's probably in a terrible condition. It'll take ages to repair. This is all not great. Um, the downside of this is, right, you can you can drink it, get a lot of fatigue back. I think it takes a really long time uh, compared to like popping vitamins, something like that. All right, it's still it's still really strong. I'm right? not not gonna lie. It, Gives an option you don't have in the vanilla game. Hey, that's that's a modded game for you. Right. say that the weapons uh, aiming five now weapons the modded weapons are probably a bit of bigger factor than an energy drink anyway yeah I'm setting my time here to end at 10 because of darkness because of eventually needing to sleep now we also you know we use the energy drink not getting that back but I hope we can clear out the rest. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I want. I want to at least have a look at that car. Backpack zombie. I mean, five certainly helped with the target acquisition and everything. If you compare that to, to yesterday's episode where we started shooting the first time and everything was red for a long time.
means clearly just a little blood on the windshield, right? Everything else is in perfect condition. Uh, it's not it's not completely terrible. Just so bad. It's open, it's open. Didn't have gas though. I'm fairly certain I'm not carrying around a spare filled gas can. I'm just gonna do a quick check of the pickup trucks here on the parking lot. Yes, scan also hey. another, another key. want to check here how much gas are we talking about oh this one is almost full well not for much longer Talk about having tunnel vision. Oh, that's a big gigamart here. Yeah? That's that's gonna be super nice. This is huge. I don't think vanilla has any gigamart this big, even in Louisville. All right, ten. Time to head home. sticks out. wondering how I want to do this. I think I want to do it this way. Turn this one off. So I think this one has a little bit more horsepower for the towing. Right, so we're heading right back home, then we're gonna see Oh boy, oh boy, this this it's all gone wrong. <laughs> really? 
careful with the steering while towing and while driving over a bunch of corpses. Um, I gotta see how much fuel we actually used in one day on the generator at our base. Keep in mind that we did not start with a full generator, it was at 80%. So, lady, no time. Now, I'm not sure I'm actually going to be, be using this car for now, for now because um, it does have a kind of low condition engine and um, some other quirks that I need to mechanic out first but I think with the thunderstorm approaching in a few days we're gonna have some time to well first of all read books but second of all also start working on the mechanics a little bit more it's probably gonna be two days of thunderstorm and I'm planning like five days of things that I want to do at base And I'm getting panicked from the darkness, even though I'm in a car with the lights on. Yeah, I should really not stay out this long. But we're almost back home. Imagine you're getting panicked while driving at night. You're just sitting in your car, screaming at your windshield the whole time. Getting panicked, getting stressed, tired, hungry, all in a day's work. All right, uh, perfect parking position. Oh, look, it's uh, so bright here, all the lights are everywhere. not think that one through now did I okay all right home at last yeah I'm getting anxious I was about to smoke a cigarette here but now my character's not a smoker why am I getting anxious all right generator 67 so we used 13% fuel on a single day that's fine well it didn't run for the full day it ran for about two-thirds so it's gonna be 20% per day so I need to refuel every five days every four days to be sure that's okay we can do that that's totally fine um, Oh, I didn't get the backpack from the other zombie that we encountered. But yeah. Alright, it's already 1am. Just wanna 
this time actually uh, throw that away. What is this? There's like a special little thing here on top. There's this cupboard and this doesn't even have a name, but it's on container. We have some glue. We needed glue for one of the um, remotes, I think. Anyway, so by the way, uh, let me just show you quickly. The hallways had like eight lights that each needed to be turned off se separately. It's like both down there and up here. I'm keeping the light on uh, in the sleep in the, the bedroom, the main living room, and in the garage because that's are the the places I visit frequently. Oh, I spend a lot of time, and I need the lights anyway. But for now, I think we're gonna turn the alarm off for tomorrow because it's so late, and we might spend a day not going back to Winchester. And we'll see about that. Now, of course, I didn't check the radio if we have another helicopter, but if, because I think the second helicopter event should be coming any day now. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. At this point, also with Cedar Hill being pretty much clear, like when we were out at the apartments, we fought like 20 zombies at most. I think just spending a helicopter day in base uh, is totally viable. Especially with our convoluted base location and all the uh, zombie pathfinding in mind. All right, you know, let's let's hear the radio at ten and then call it an episode. Any second now. Today it's fine, we know that. Tomorrow, very thick talk. Thunderstorm in four days. Oh god, we're gonna have helicopter today. Alright, so I think I actually, um, <clears throat> so on the, on the one hand, if we actually have helicopter and activity, that's something you probably want to see. On the other hand, if I now say, okay, helicopter comes, I'm just going to stay in base. I'm very certain we're not going to find any zombies or no zombies will find their way all the way here nothing will happen, then that's not really an interesting episode. So, um, here's the deal. I'm going to do two base days. Today, just sitting in base, reading books, maybe doing mechanics and ignoring the helicopter. If something happens, I'll start recording and I'll let you in on all the action. If nothing happens, then the helicopter day we spend in base, tomorrow, very thick fog not gonna go out and shoot zombies in the fog so that's also a base day so we're gonna have two base days happening here uh and uh, yeah then I'll, I'll bring you back in and let you know what what happens in the meantime so the plan is work on the cars level up mechanics um i'm gonna read first aid book because we obviously have to do first aid to research the zombie virus vaccine And I'm not sure if I'm going to focus on anything else. Like, yeah, we could get carpentry to 10, but that's such a minor difference. It's not going to make make or break anything. Um, so yeah, and then we'll, we'll have to at some point look into metalworking, getting that a little bit up so we can actually also work on our cars a little bit more and upgrade them. For now, going to put a cut in here. 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.